let's go to Matthew chapter 6 verses 25 through 34 to the left is the King James Version to the right is the Hispanic expanded Bible therefore I say unto you take no thought for your life what ye shall eat or what ye shall drink nor yet for your body what ye shall put on it's not the life more than meat and the body than raiment 26 behold the fowls of the air for they sow not neither do they reap nor gather into barns yet your heavenly father feedeth them so god is feeding the fowls are ye not much better than they yes we are 27 which of you by taking thought can add one cubit unto his stature <laughs> we can't 28 or can we no and why take ye thought for raiment consider the lilies of the field how they grow they toil not huh neither do they spin okay now 29 and yet I say unto you that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these wherefore if God so clothe the grass of the field which today is and tomorrow is cast into the oven shall he not much more clothe you O ye of little faith 31 therefore okay take no thought saying what shall we eat or what shall we drink or wherewithal huh shall we be clothed 32 for after all these things do do who the Gentiles seek for your heavenly father knoweth that ye have need of all these things okay 33 but seek ye first not second not third not fourth not tenth the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you I think that is a promise right 34 take therefore no thought for the morrow for the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof so what is the saying here okay now sometimes I think to myself even not even now but occasionally I guess I can say sometimes there are some things in my life or some things I guess I have planned and I am not so sure about the future, as in about this and about that and about this, like from how things are now, sometimes I guess some thoughts may come to my mind, having me wonder how I am going to do particular things, like and not so much fear, but like anxious anxiety, like 
a little bit of anxiety, I guess. Like, I don't let it go too far, but maybe a little anxiety. Like, how am I going to do this? How am I going to do that? In order to do this, I have to blah, 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 blah. So, sometimes, like, I may make myself worry a little. Maybe sometimes more than that. But... In this passage here, what is it telling us? So pretty much it is telling you to what? Not to worry about your food, your drink, your clothes, what else? Pretty much what I am receiving out of this Don't be so worried about stuff you may need on this earth. Don't be so worried about earthly stuff. As long as you are seeking Jesus Christ, as long as you are living, seeking as in what I mean by that is trying to follow his rules, trying to go by his way, trying to please him. As long as you are seeking Jesus Christ, don't worry about everything else. I think some people may have that opposite. Like, I think some people focus so much on clothes, their job, money, homes, so on and so on, and not really place focus or not at all place focus on Jesus Christ. That is wrong. I believe one of the reasons why some people fall away from Jesus Christ is pretty much if you add almost everything up I think the main reason is money what if many people would trust Jesus Christ focus less on what they think they need on this earth and allow God to help them So I don't have to be anxious about tomorrow, right? I think in verse 34, it says what? Take therefore no thought for the morrow. For tomorrow, right? For the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. So I don't have to, as long as I am living for Jesus Christ, I don't have to worry about tomorrow. So I can focus most or much or so much of my time on trying to live for Jesus Christ because why? Because I know Jesus Christ is going to help me. I don't have to focus on working so much and placing 18 hours a day exaggeration on working. I don't have to work all day, all night, all day, all night to make it. Not saying I should be lazy and not do anything. I am not saying that. But my primary, my main focus should be on living for Jesus Christ first. So you, you can't say if you focus too much on Jesus Christ, you won't be able to pay your bills. That is not true. I don't have to be worried. 
I don't have to be concerned about stuff in the future. Let me live for what life is about now. Let me live in the now, if that makes any sense to you. Let me take care of the things for now. Even if I worry, even if I stay in fear of the future, how is that going to help me? Like, do I know everything? Do I know what is going to happen in the future? Like, how my life is going to be and everything like that? I think not. So why should I take so much time in worrying and being in fear about the unknown? Please listen. According to this passage, I should place my trust and my efforts in Jesus Christ. As long as I do that, I am going to be fine. So I am going to be fine. So I don't have to worry because if I do what this says, I believe I would be placing my trust and confidence in Jesus Christ. I think some people have more trust in themselves than in Jesus or more trust in their jobs or their money or whatever else more than Jesus Christ. Some people may believe they have to do wrong to get by, to get by in life, which is wrong. But seek ye first, verse 33, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things, not some, not one fourth, not two thirds, but all, A-L-L, -L, all these things shall be added unto you. I think this is a promise. So I may not know what is going to happen tomorrow, but that should not be a concern of mine. How things are now, I assume, doesn't mean it is always going to be that way. As long as what? As long as I am seeking, seeking what? First, the kingdom of God, not seeking, I hope this is making sense here. I think some people are so worried about their future and stuff like that, or whatever, you don't have to be. I am choosing to not worry about the future. Yes, it may seem it is going to be this way or someone may have told me, Kevin, you better do this or this is going to happen, whatever. If I am, if I am placing my trust and confidence in Jesus Christ, I don't have to worry. I don't have to think so much about the future if that makes any sense. Why? Because I am doing verse 33, seeking first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, as in I am choosing to try to follow his rules. I may not be perfect at it, but I am choosing to do it. I am placing him first before anything else, not placing, I don't have a wife or kids, not placing my wife first, not placing my kids first, 
not placing my business first, which I don't have a business. I am making an example. Not placing my TV first, not placing my job or car or shoes or socks first. No, I am placing who first? God first. I hope this makes sense. I don't have to worry. Because how will worrying do anything for me? I think there's a verse describing that. Where is it? Um. Therefore, take no thought. Verse 27. Which of you, by taking thought, can add one cubit unto his stature? So what is that trying to say? How can worrying do anything for you? I think worrying will place more stress on you. So if anything, I think worrying is a harm to you. So let's detour from that. Let me stop here. God bless you.